Welcome to the Plug in India special feature. I am Amit. And I am Rafi. Rafi, today's show we're going to give out a lot of information right. because there is a lot of misinformation about electric vehicles and lithium batteries. Well, Amit, we've gone the extra mile this time, and yeah. for you guys, what we've done is we've asked academia, important people, and industry people who know what they're talking about, and we've made two posters. One of them is about electric vehicles and about lithium ion batteries and about the lithium mineral itself where it's found and how recyclable it is. So this list has been verified and approved by the following eminent people from both academia and industry. Professor Ashok Junjunwala, professor at IIT Madras, Dr. Ravi Chellam, CEO MetaString Foundation, Mr. Sonam Wanchuk, who is an educationalist at the Himalayan Institute of Alternatives in Ladakh, Mr. Kan Garg Director of Renewables and New Mobility, EY New Delhi, Dr. Soumya Prasad, Nature Science Initiative, Dehradun, and uh, our own Mr. Kamlesh Malik, who is an EV advocate, uh, works for Plugin India, Pune. So these posters are available for you to download on the Plugin India website. So please, please, please share, download, because we need to counter these misguiding uh, information, information and people who've been sharing this misguided information. information. So kindly go ahead and download it. So Rafi, now let's look at those posters and let's look at all the facts that we have uh, gathered there. Right. The first point is the electric vehicles emit zero local pollution in the city. And also it improves air quality in the city. Amit, you are absolutely right. Electric vehicles don't have tailpipes. And uh, so they're not emitting fumes and all that yes. exhaust right in your face. Yeah. I mean, if you're at a signal ever and you've had a truck stand next to you, and I suddenly, oh, all that black suit. So that's one thing that you're going to avoid uh, in the immediate vicinity of the vehicle. And also, Amit, there are so many new two-wheelers coming onto the roads every day. 17-year-olds, uh, the first thing they get is a two-wheeler, which does not mm -hmm. require a license. Yep. And uh, these are really polluting vehicles. They're not really fuel efficient. Yes. And uh, that's uh, where the major amount of uh, air pollution comes from as well. True. So Rafi, let's look at the other yes. two points now. And we know that, you know, EVs, even if they're powered by electricity generated by coal, they uh, emit 50% less, less emission as compared to any petrol or diesel vehicle. True. And EVs can also be powered by other alternate variety of right. sources, which are like the solar, wind, it could be hydroelectricity. It, but petrol and diesel vehicles don't have this option. They have to just go fill petrol or diesel. That's or about CNG. it. Or a CNG or a bio... Yes. But it's still going to emit yes. greenhouse gases. Amit, one very big question that comes up mainly with newbies, people when they are first introduced to the concept of electric vehicles is coal. Yeah. Uh, people feel that somehow the electric cars are being run by electricity generated by coal, thermal, thermal, thermal power plants and that's where all the pollution is happening. So what if we are not polluting locally, we are polluting in the long term term and uh, the coal plant is generating a lot yes. of pollution well what we've done is we've crunched some numbers for you guys we've put the links in the description below and check it out because even if electric vehicles were 100 percent powered by coal which is not the case but if they were then too they are 50 percent cleaner than petrol and diesel powered vehicles True. so it's a good shift either way but having said that, let's also introduce the concept of different sources of energy and the fact that the grid as time goes on with solar, wind, hydropower and so many other sources of energy which might be invented in the future is going to get cleaner. And as the grid gets cleaner, your electric vehicle will automatically be a cleaner and cleaner vehicle, which is not an option. Which If you have an ICE car, if you, sorry, if you have an ICE vehicle, it doesn't matter whether it's a car, two-wheeler, bus, three-wheeler, it's going to get, it's going to stay as dirty as it was the day you bought it. So, uh, go EVs. So, Rafi, we're going to look at some other key points about the EV facts. And one of them is that EVs are significantly quieter and they make no. And that's how negating a lot of noise pollution which would be there on the roads otherwise. And also that EVs are actually being powered by electricity which is generated in India itself exactly, and we're not really importing any oil to, to do so. Electricity, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Those are good points Amit. If you've ever driven in India anywhere, 
uh, you've heard all the sounds of those motorcycles, those rickshaws, cars, trucks, buses. There's a lot of noise and you get desensitized and you don't realize but the decibel levels are quite high. Sure. If we were to shift to electric, say gradually, slowly these levels will start coming down which will reduce the stress and help people be a little bit more relaxed in their lives. Yeah, because there's so, no... Exactly, no constant uh, droning, uh, you know, sound of all those engines. And uh, again, coming back to the point of foreign oil, we are spending a lot of foreign exchange importing most of the oil that we use to run our IC vehicles. Yes. If we could shift to clean homemade electricity, then that's going to be so much better for the exchequer as well. Yep. So important points to consider guys. So Rafi, let's look at something very important, which is the charging of these electric vehicles. Right. And most of the charging happens either at home or at office, right? And the whole thing is that, you know, because I'm charging at home or at my office, I am no more visiting any petrol pump. Because I don't time. require petrol. Exactly. <laughs> right? And a lot of these auto OEMs, which are manufacturing electric vehicles, right. are actually helping you, if you buy one, to set up a charging point in and your high rise building or any society complex that you're staying in. Yes, Amit, this is an important aspect charging your electric vehicle. Yes. Uh, we do want to tell people that upfront, it sounds like you're spending a lot of time charging your vehicles. When people True. first ask us, how much time does it take to charge your vehicle? When I say five hours, it's a big shock to them. Yeah. But in daily use, Amit, I'm never actually waiting for five hours. Another point that needs to be made, Amit, is about charging at petrol pumps. Mm -hmm. uh, actually going to a petrol pump, we don't realize it because we do it so matter-of-factly as a default. Yeah. But suddenly, after we purchased our first electric vehicle, we realized that we are saving a lot of time because we're just not having to do all this uh, stressful activity of going to the petrol pump, waiting in the line True. and filling up petrol and that expense is saved in terms of time. And uh, also people do feel that charging in your own apartment, setting up the charging point is a big issue for them, getting a permission from the society or uh, getting an electrician to do the job for them. But auto OEMs are actually helping now and they will send someone over to fix all these issues for you. You just have to be a legitimate uh, member of the society or get the member's permission and that's it and then auto EM will set up your point for you in a convenient location. So these issues are being dealt with and it's not a big issue anymore. So Rafi, let's look at this, this huge misconception in the electric vehicle market that electric vehicles are very expensive. Yes. We, uh, whereas you may consider employee transport services, ride hailing, last mile deliveries and even two-wheeler personal transport they are currently more viable at their price point. So Amit, let's take this point by point. Yep. Uh, upfront, what happens is when a person wants to buy a vehicle, he goes to a website. Now, yep. automatically, this is a very eye-centric uh, market. The True. website, the portal, does a very bad job of showing EVs as very expensive because the upfront sticker price is quite high. So they will show you an upfront price, which makes you feel that the electric vehicle is way more expensive than what it really is. In reality, what has happened is if you take take a look at these smart companies which you mentioned, which do ride sharing and ride hailing, yeah. and uh, the cost of running this vehicle is quite low. So they do a TCO or a total cost of ownership analysis, and they have figured out that EVs are cheaper, yeah. which is what we must as well. And electric vehicles are much cheaper to run on a per kilometer basis, and the maintenance costs are low. The joy of using an electric vehicle is so much more. So that's something that one needs to consider. Another thing that one would like to say is that right as of today, two-wheelers are at price parity. If you find the high-end two-wheelers in the uh, electric, electric uh, uh, vehicle market, and if you look at the high-end uh, petrol and uh, scooters, they are around that same price bracket. So even upfront, the sticker price is good. Yeah. Uh, what one thing one would finally like to mention, Amit, is that the OEM manufacturers of cars they are pumping up the prices. So they are selling electric vehicles at much higher price point than they need to. Yeah. For what reason is known only to them. But this is giving electric vehicles a bad name as in that they are very expensive and unaffordable or too expensive to uh, for a, a common man or an ordinary person. Right. Also so small. Exactly, much smaller. The smaller electric vehicles can be a lot cheaper. So this, they can be affordable for the cam common man and that's where we'd like industry to lead us. So that, that's 
sums it up. So now that we've given you all the facts about electric vehicles and how good they are, so you know exactly what you have to do is go electric and go get yourself that electric vehicle, whether it's your bike or a car. And also please share the poster, the information that we have shared with you, with all your friends and family and office colleagues and everybody. And if you have any comments, please go ahead and share it in the comments below and subscribe to Plugin India.